unemployment tends to be what we call cyclical. Cyclical unemployment is unemployment that exists in excess of the natural level of unemployment, or the unemployment we would expect when the economy is operating at full employment. It can include more or less frictional and structural unemployment, depending on the nature of the change in unemployment. For example, if unemployment falls because of a government program to raise average levels of education, you may see a significant decrease in structural unemployment. On the other hand, a government program to make it easier for businesses with jobs to get their listings directly to people looking for work may bring down unemployment largely on the back of declining frictional unemployment. But to some extent, the cyclicality of unemployment is an, an economy related to the business cycle. What tends to happen the most in economies is that as real GDP passes a peak and declines into a trough, you will see the economy's unemployment rates start to climb. Unemployment rate changes tend to be inversely related to real GDP changes. As real GDP accelerates, you tend to see unemployment fall. But as real GDP decelerates or declines, you tend to see unemployment climb. Makes sense that a growing economy would create jobs while a slowing or shrinking economy would do the opposite. At the same time, there's a weakening theoretical relationship between inflation and both real GDP and unemployment. Theoretically, an accelerating economy would be driven by more economic transactions, and it's possible that the number of transactions has an impact on the price level, so that more transactions would increase the price level or lead to inflation. Not only that, but if an accelerating economy creates jobs, then there's a potential mechanism for employment actually raising prices in the economy. Think about it like this. Workers are scarce, and the more of the labor that force that is working, the fewer people will be available to be hired. Tears paribus, all else held constant. That scarcity likely means that every new person hired in an economy costs more to hire in terms of compensation than the person before them. And since businesses may incorporate the cost of labor into the price of their final goods or services, higher wages that attract the marginal worker could translate into higher prices in the economy. All of this means that these three major variables, real GDP, inflation, and unemployment, likely interact with each other. And much of macroeconomics encompasses understanding how changes in one could change the others and what that means on the ground for workers, businesses, government, and how the economy interacts with other economies.